All right, back again, Luke here, and today I just want to show you guys something that I was in the process of working on here. Um, I recently got this uh, Neo Geo um, AES system off the internet auctions, and uh, I got it in just the other day, and uh, it was listed as non-tested uh, and non-working, and normally that just means that they don't have the power cords for it, or they didn't have a cart for it, so they couldn't test it, but uh, I found that there were uh, a few things that were left out of the story here, and uh, it's really kind of rare, but uh, when I got this machine here, I went and I tried to plug it in and uh, test it out, put all the cords in, and I got nothing. So I tried to clean up the contact points and see what I could find. Uh, and uh, the most interesting thing I found, I know it's uh, it's already a little bit too late, but uh, uh, a couple of the videos that I made on it while I was doing the repairs, they uh, wound up getting deleted. So uh, I figured I can show you again once through my cell phone. Uh, this is how the unit looked when I uh, when I got it, and this is probably going to be a little bit difficult to see. But, if you can see, right here, there is actually some parts missing. Um, there is uh, a regulator or uh, some uh, diodes here on the side. There's a capacitor that was supposed to be here. There's also a uh, coil that's supposed to be here. All these parts were missing off the board, and it only took me about 30 seconds to realize this thing doesn't have enough parts. So today I went down to Akihabara and I had to buy some uh, replacement parts here and uh, put those all back in. Normally, this thing is supposed to look like this. So you can see which parts are missing. Um, I took a picture from uh, my other Neo Geo here, uh, my other AES system, so I could go down to Akihabara and see if I could find some parts for it. And I managed to uh, come across the parts that I needed and uh, was able to put those back in and finally got this thing up and running. But it was really shocking because um, I've never seen anything like this. Um, you know, the fact that they were all completely gone. Um, you know, I don't know why anyone would take those out, but they were uh, they were taken out very nicely. Um, they were really clean uh, around this area. Uh, the solder and everything was really clean. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it was just a uh, production issue or if uh, one of the guys who had it before actually removed them or not. But nonetheless, uh, those things were <laughs> were gone. So. Nonetheless, I got this thing up and running again. Um, it's got a few scratches on it. You know, I tried to uh, just, you know, polish it up just a little bit, but uh, I think I'm going to have to go over it again. It's still got some pretty big uh, gouges in here. If you cover up the light, you can't see it as much, but when the light reflects here, you can definitely see it, see the differences. But for the parts and everything, uh, the total uh, parts, I wound up picking up a couple of extra parts in case I needed them, but the parts cost me about, I don't know, 15 bucks or so to get this thing back up and running. So it wasn't too bad, but uh, it was pretty surprising to see that that uh, those parts were actually missing. Because normally, you know, the Neo Geos, you don't see stuff like this. You don't see uh, these parts just missing <laughs> from it. So, but I uh, I just had my soldering pen out and uh, had the tools out, the solder and everything, and my bag of spare parts that I was looking through to see if I could find anything that would work in it. But nonetheless, I got this thing to to get up and work again. So. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> you can see here it's up and running again, so no uh, no big issues. But uh, really surprising when I first turned on the power, couldn't get anything, so I used my uh, my tester to see if I could get the right amount of voltage going to it and see if it, there was anything else that was uh, missing from it. But just happened to be those parts there. And uh, once I got those things put back in, this thing fired right up. So, yeah, I wish I had the other two videos to show you guys uh, the process of replacing the parts, but uh, unfortunately I don't. So this is one of the earlier model ones too. Um, if you take a look at the bottom of this this one here, you can see there's a couple of screws there, and there's a uh, screws in the four corners. So uh, this one here, we'll take the card out flip this one over so you can take a look at the bottom of this one. You can see here there's only one screw there. Um, this is a 3-4 uh, model. Uh, there's like 3-5, 3-6 and so on. But uh, there's um, a screw hole up here in this corner, this one, uh, the other one, and then there's just one down here. So there's uh, four screws in total and this one here has five. So. Something else a little bit interesting between these different models, but nonetheless, just want to show you guys. Uh, I got another unit up here and running, and uh, pretty happy about that. This is the one that was all painted up. It needs to be uh, definitely buffed out and repolished, but um, yeah.
nonetheless, I uh, got another unit here working. So I just want to share that with you guys for right now. And uh, yeah, um, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.